to create an M365 E3 trial, we'll go to this link. That link will be available in the notes below this video, so you don't need to memorize that. Uh, once we go to that link, it'll think for a little while, and ultimately it'll bring up a page that's going to ask us to first enter an email address that we have. And they're trying to check to make sure that this email address isn't already in a tenant. The email address I gave is already in a tenant, so I'm gonna go and say, hey, let me create a new account anyway. So I type in my personal name, my mobile number, the company I work for, the company size, and then I can go ahead and click next. And then I'll think about it for a minute and I'll go, hey, I'm gonna send you a text message to the number you put in to validate that you're a human being and not a robot. So it sends me the text message and I go ahead and type it in. Looks like, uh, we'll see if I get it right here. Boom, verified. So now I can create a tenant name. Uh, I wouldn't recommend on a trial tenant that you use a name that's important to you. You just kind of make something up because it's temporary. These uh, tenants only last for 30 days. So I'm gonna go with something like uh, Flinchbots E3 Trial. Um, number one, why not throw, throw a number on there? And let's check and see if it's available. Perfect, it's available. So now I can create my first user and this will be my global administrator. So I'll just go with Flinchbot, punch in my password, validate the password, you know, a second time, make sure I typed it right. And off we go. So at this point, what's happening is that the tenant is being created in the background and that user is being created and given the global admin rights. So it's that quick. Nothing, nothing too complex. Just give some information, prove you're a human, and off we go. So we'll just hang here for a second, and it'll come back here with a message now saying, perfect, we're good, let's go to setup. So let's click go to setup, and let's get our tenant configured. Now, this step here takes a little bit, so I'm just gonna kind of do video magic and just speed up the next 30 seconds in, in about five seconds of time. Now we can finish setting things up. Now this is a trial tenant, so I'm not really gonna spend a lot of time setting anything up. I'm actually gonna go down to the bottom here and say, let's exit setup. It's a nice thing to go through if it's a real tenant. It guides you through creating uh, user accounts and guides you through a bunch of other things. But for this case, uh, we're not gonna need any of that. And quite honestly, we don't need to do anything else. We have our tenant up and running. We can now use this for a lab or we can use it for testing or anything we need to do. So uh, there you go. That's how you set up a, a, a trial tenant.